your number one news team covering the North. The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. Christmas celebrations launched in East Grants, Bahama with the second annual Dovetail Christmas giveaway in the settlement of High Rock. Residents from as far as Sweetings Key were invited to take part in the drive through Christmas giveaway and family fun day. Jay Philippe has more. The second annual Dovetail Christmas giveaway taking place in the settlement of High Rock, East Grand Bahama. Adults and children from as far as Sweden's Key were invited to take part in the drive through Christmas giveaway and family fun day. It was a joint partnership between Dovetail Construction, which is a local construction company in Grand Bahama, other civic organizations, and the Member of Parliament for East Grand Bahama, the Honorable Quizzy Thompson. Organizer of the giveaway, Leiden Lang, along with Willis Ingram, CEO of Dovetail Construction, shared the importance of giving back to children in the community of East End. One of the things that uh, me and the CEO wanted to do was make sure we bring some joy to the kids, you know, to bring to lift their spirits. Because like I said, you know, up here in East, we've been through a lot. And so to do this a second year, you know, it feels, feels good. It feels awesome to be able to bring some joy to the kids out here. Giving back to the kids was always in my heart. And I understand the level of giving back, that when you give back, that you feel much better than receiving. So we find that ourselves, we came together, myself and Lena Lang, that what we can do for the community, or the kids in the community, what is the future of the Bahamas and this community also, Grand Bahama at large. One of the civic organizations that supported the drive through giveaway was the Rotary Club of Lukair, in addition to the Rotary Disaster Committee for the island of Grand Bahama. There's a lot of people still in need, so our goal as Rotarians, being community-minded, is to ensure that we bring some sort of relief to the people, particularly here in the community of High Rock. The administrator for East Grand Bahama, Gregory Knowles, commending the organizers and partners executing the Christmas giveaway that attracted more than 100 youngsters. You know, children look forward to this time of the year where they can come together and have some fun, over some toys, and have this been, you know, nothing like the hamburgers and hot dogs. Member of Parliament for East Grand Bahama, the Honorable Quizzy Thompson, was also on hand for the giveaway. This has been a very difficult year uh, for East End, but a very difficult year for all of us in Grand Bahama and in the Bahamas. And so for us to be able to give back to the community, that's the important thing. And that's really what the Christmas season is about. It's, a, it's about not just what uh, we can do, but it's also about what we can give. And so today we are giving. I'm Jay Philippe. ZNS Network News. Let's go to the West. It was the first ever Christmas tree lighting ceremony held in the Pinedale community this past Sunday under the theme Stronger Together. Residents gathered on the community park to sing, dance, and give thanks and praise to God. Committee Chairperson Shalane Hall says it was a community effort and it is their hope to make the event an annual one. We have made history in the community of Pinedale. For it has been a long time coming and as we canvass the area and ask the concerns of the person and what would they like to see to happen during this Christmas event. We have had ones that decided they would like to have a Christmas tree lighting. Now there was also a tree decorated with photos in memory of those lives lost in the community throughout the years. Meantime, former Grands Bahama Junk New Committee member and creator of Feel the Rush and Just Rush Junk New Parades, Peter Adderley, issuing a statement on the death of Wellington Moultrie. He says Moultrie has had a long battle with illness, which he fought bravely, adding that his contribution at the helm of Junk New in Grants, Bahama was immeasurable. Adderley says Moultrie made parades possible by way of his keen preparation and meticulous skills. He was passionate about Bahamian culture and truly loved Junk Newers. The 
statement adds that without the support of Wellington Moultrie, the two largest off-season junk canoe parades ever in the Bahamas would not have been possible. Adderley concluding by extending heartfelt condolences to Moultrie's family and friends. And now it is time for a check on sports with Jay Philippe. I'm Jay Philippe and welcome to Sports Athletes from Grand Bahama continuing to shine on the international stage. We have an update from a few of those athletes. In college basketball, senior guard Edrell Martin Barrow had perhaps his best game in the college ranks in a close loss to Mid-Nazarene University, 72-76. Martin Barrow had a 30-point performance to wipe out a 16-point second half deficit with a 21-4 score and run. Martin Barrow accounted for 10 of his team's 21 points during that spurt i was sick two games before and so i was trying to i had a couple of bad games playing and i went 0 for 8 shooting and so preparation and execution the night before i shot for about two hours trying to sweat out the the sickness that i had and so coming into that mid-america game i just asked god that he allowed me to play the best of my abilities and to execute the, the work that i put in before that night before as far as the team standpoint, coming into these conference games, we're actually first in the conference, so we come in with high confidence and we know what we're capable of. As far as personal goals, I just expect to be a leader for the team, I expect to be a scorer, facilitator, and play the best defense out there every night. Up next, his team will take on Baker University. Now in college football, senior wide Prince Strawn has made a name for himself playing in his senior year at John Carroll High School in the state of Florida. The 6'5 speedster has gained multiple college offers ranging from Division I to Division II schools. Strawn recently visited Boise State University, who plays in the Mountain West Conference as one of his official college visits. Now Prince Strawn is the younger brother of Michael Strawn, who was drafted this year by the Indianapolis this course. That's a quick check on sports. I'm Jay Philippe. Be blessed.